We talked about calculating molecular weight averages for samples that have a distribution of chain lengths. Here we're going to look at a different case where we have mixtures of different polymer samples. So suppose we have a mixture of two different polymer samples, column A and B. So each of these polymer samples has its own distribution of chain lengths. And imagine that those are characterized in terms of molecular weight averages and number average and a weight average molecular weight, for example. So if we have a mixture of two different samples that each has its own distribution of chain lengths, where we know the molecular weight averages for those distributions, can we then find with that information the number and weight average molecular weight of the mixture if we combine samples A and B together to form a new distribution of chain lengths. So we don't know actually the distribution of chain lengths in each of these samples. We only know the average molecular weights, the number and weight averages of each mixture. So for polymer A, I know the number and weight average, and then I also know how much I'm adding, you know, how many grams of A. And for polymer B, I know the number and weight averages associated with that sample, and I know how much I'm going to add to the mixture in terms of its weight or number of grams. So let's think about this uh, first in terms of the number average molecular weight. So remember our expression for number average molecular weight is the sum of the number of each fraction times the molecular weight of that fraction uh, divided by the total number of molecules. So we can imagine that for polymer A, uh, we add up uh, all, these, um, all these individual fractions for polymer A, and notice that this product of N times M, remember that that's equal to weight because I have moles times grams per mole, so that has units of grams. So if I add this up over the total distribution of chain lengths in sample A, then this quantity in the numerator is actually the weight of polymer in sample A, how many grams of polymer I have. So then I can rearrange this and solve for this quantity in the denominator, the total number of chains in sample A. I can express that as the ratio of the weight of sample A divided by its number average molecular weight. And similarly, I can do uh, the same for sample B uh, and express the total number of chains in sample B as the ratio between the weight of sample B and its number average molecular weight. So with this information, then I can try to then calculate the number average molecular weight of the mixture. So I can express that as the total uh, product of the number of chains times the molecular weight. So I have this product over the distribution of chains in sample A, and then I can add to that the product of the distribution uh, over the distribution of chains in sample B, and the total number of chains is the number of chains in sample A plus the number of chains in sample B. Now, notice uh, that I said, we said before that these terms in the numerator, uh, the product of N times M over the whole distribution is the total weight of material in that sample. Because remember, again, moles times grams per mole uh, is grams. So the total grams of A plus the total grams of B. So this term in the numerator is the total weight of polymer uh, in each of these samples. Then notice that this term in the denominator, I can substitute in from this relationship that we obtained uh, on the previous slide. So for these number of chains A, I'm going to substitute this uh, ratio of WA to M bar NA, and similarly for the number of chains in B. And so that's what I've written here. Then I can do one more thing to simplify this. Uh, I'm going to divide the numerator and denominator by 1 over the sum of WA plus WB, which is basically the total weight of sample. So notice when I do that in the numerator, then these terms cancel out. And in the denominator, what I end up with is a term like this, 1 over the number average molecular weight of sample A times the weight of polymer in sample A over the total weight, plus 1 over the number average molecular weight of sample B times the weight of polymer B over the total weight. So notice that these ratios of these weights are weight fractions. So the ratio of the weight of A over the total weight and the weight of B over the total B. So I'm going to denote these um, as uh, with a star. So the weight fraction of A is WA star, 
and the weight fraction of B is WB star. So then finally I can rewrite this expression as follows. The number average molecular weight of the mixture is 1 over the sum of the weight fraction of A over the number average molecular weight of A plus the weight fraction of B divided by the number average molecular weight of B.